Halloween costume ideas. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm here to share some DIY costume ideas. Now these are costumes that I've actually made and worn myself, so I know what worked, what didn't work, and what actually lasts the whole night. Now personally, I like to DIY my costumes in some way, so it's at least a little bit unique. I don't like buying it off the rack or in those packets because especially in Hong Kong, you're very likely going to clash with someone else. And sometimes it is a big white dude because the rugby team decided to do a Disney Squad goals as well. So I'm going to go through how I actually made these costumes in an order which I think is the easiest to the most complicated. And also, I will give you some ideas on how you can act as the character, you know, just to make things more fun and bring the character to life. So for my first costume, it's my ninja outfit and it was so comfortable. It was kind of last minute for me. As you can see, they're kind of like normal clothing but with like ribbons on it. So what I had was a black bodysuit, a red belt, and then I had this, um, so one of these multi-purpose um, mask slash scarf slash headband slash dish cloth thing. So um, I used it as a mask, obviously, and then I sewed on some red ribbons on it. And then um, in the picture, I had um, also a red dragon, which I sewed onto my bodysuit. And then I had these arm warmers, but they were black, and then I just sewed on some red ribbons onto it. But bear in mind that ribbons don't stretch right. So if you sew them on, make sure they're, um, just crisscross them and make sure when they bunch up, they're loose enough to go through your hand because it was a bit tight for me, even though I already knew that. But uh, just bear that in mind. And um, so also I was wearing stockings, but the ribbons actually, was sliding off the stocking so much so I was actually trying to have um if you can see on my right leg I have a black rubber band like yeah rubber band and then I sewed the ribbon onto it just to make it stay up or you could just not wear stockings and tie the ribbons on your bare leg and you can see I'm wearing black high heels like black boots but you could totally wear combat boots and Doc Martens and and this outfit can be so comfortable I was like jumping around all day. So speaking of jumping around, some things you could do as a ninja is first thing what I did was I whenever I was about to do something I just yell ninja and then I go do it really quickly. So like ninja need to go pee. Ninja I'm gonna get a shot. Ninja I'm gonna go home. Things like that. And it just makes everything really epic. <laughs> and also I was jumping around a lot. I was jumping on ledges and jumping up and down trying to be all agile and stuff you know. And as for my weapon of choice, you can see I have chosen to use size because um, with ninja stars, you're supposed to throw them, right? And I didn't want to lose them. So as you can see on the side of my thigh, I actually put the ninja star through the ribbon. So it's on the side of my thigh, it's part of my costume. And then I was just working with size the whole day. So as you can see, I'm in my friend's kitchen um, looking like a top chef, but I didn't do no cooking. Um, I was like picking up things with my side, trying to eat food with my side, and um, imagine if you're at a barbecue, you've got so much to work with. Anyway, that's about it for this costume. On to the next one. Ninja! Right, Miss Poison Ivy. So Poison Ivy is a very popular choice for dressing up every year. So more the reason why you have to DIY and make yours more unique. So what I did was I actually found a green corset and then I sewed on leaves onto the corset and then I tied it in my hair. I had green ribbons with some leaves on it. I had red fingernails, um, red lips and green makeup and uh, red eyebrows. I kind of colored my hair slightly red. If you see it in person, it was kind of noticeable. But um, I mean, you could go for a wig, of course. And on the bottom, I was wearing basically big black underwear because I wanted it to look like a bodysuit but then my friends like yeah you're basically wearing undies but I'm um, so I covered it with a scarf and I had stockings and uh, I wore boots with it and um, so that's my complete look there with my friends but the problem was that I couldn't actually find leaves that were shaped like poison ivy so I kind of looked like a sexy cabbage instead but hey that's still dressing up, sexy cabbage. So the things you could do as Poison Ivy is blow kisses, blow a lot of kisses, and do all these things with your hands, and talk to plants wherever you can, seductively. OK, 
Okay, third costume, the mummy. Now for Halloween, I actually don't usually do scary costumes because I don't like gruesome and scary things. But um, here you go, I've actually done a scary one. So for mummies, it could be a very last minute costume if you just wrap like toilet paper around you. But then you might also end up being half naked by the end of the night because most of the costume's gone. So it's better to actually sew it onto clothing and have it ready. So what I did was um, I got bandages, like, you know, medical bandages. I dipped them in coffee to stain them and then I had these undergarments which is like a beige crop top and beige skirt like an underskirt and then I wrapped the bandages around it I had it up here I had a crisscross so it has a special kind of cutting and then I left some of the bandages for my legs and my arms and my hair so for makeup um, I also had Egyptian makeup you can see I have a headdress here which is supposed to normally go on the back of your head but I put it in front just to be Egyptian like and then you can see on my skirt I have like a belt um, which I was trying to be I was trying to be a bit more Egyptian with it. It doesn't make sense that the belt's on top of the bandages, but who cares? Um, so I was trying to mix the Egyptian and like the mummy costume together. Um, and that is what I have in the end. You know, come to think of it, my costume is already half naked. <laughs> Well, how to act as a mummy is, uh, well, I guess they usually you walk around like this, you know, like a zombie because they basically are that, living dead, and uh, this, which is why I've done that in this picture, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. and um, you can also go around asking, who's your mummy? Do you need some toilet paper? <laughs> if people ask you about, you know, your costume, you're like, yeah, I tripped really bad. And also, who can forget? Back streets, back... The jungle slash cave woman outfit. So this costume, I actually made it for a dance show and then I wore it for Halloween. And it could be so simple. So I had a big stretchy piece of animal print fabric. And it's kind of like an apron. What you do is you cut it out so that, you know, you cover your body however much you want to cover. And then on the side, on the same piece of fabric, you cut out strips of, um, just the strips of the fabric um, just so you could tie it behind you so I had one just behind my chest um, second one around my waist so it could come in and give me a bit of waistline and then the third part around my hips I actually sewed it together as a skirt and then um, so of course I cut the edges um, like triangles and then I actually for my own safety because I didn't actually have a lot of fabric um, I wore a skirt underneath and then also sewed on some brown pointy fabrics just to add some layers, add some poofiness and just to be safe in case, in case my fabric didn't hold very well. Now, as a jungle woman, I guess you could, you know, do the Tarzan roar and go climb trees and like come out of bushes out of nowhere and um, talk to animals if, you know, there are any around. Um, as the cave woman, I wasn't this, but... I think it'd be funny just to freak out over all the modern technology or just utilities around you. Like if you're taking the train, just freak out when the door opens and the light comes on. Just freak out and then I go pay everything with stones. <laughs> So on the subject of Jungle Woman, I once also dressed up as Katy Perry from the music video Raw. So this was a last minute birthday party thing. So what I had was already um, a leopard print top. So I DIY'd the skirt, which is a tutu that I flipped inside out, or you could just use any skirt. And then I walked down to um, where the bushes are, and then I ripped some leaves off. And um, I chose the one that were long and pointy, kind of, you know, like aloe vera shaped leaves. And then I had them in different lengths, and then I sewed them onto the skirt. So around the hips, I put a lay there just to cover up where I was sewing and I also had one on my head just to, you know, copy her headpiece that she had. Um, it's more Hawaiian, but um, I don't know, she's looking like a queen in that video. And speaking of Katy Perry, I also dressed up as a peacock one year and it's related to Katy Perry because I used her song in my YouTube video. So yes, I made a step-by-step -step how to video on how to make my peacock costume. And um, I have to say, 
This one was um, the most arts and crafty one out of all the ones I did and because I also was filming a video at the same time, it took a lot of effort. But go watch it, I'm not going to go into details and uh, you can see how I used to look like a few years back and uh, the difference in video quality I had back then. But anyway, so what I really wanted to do with that costume was to find a way somehow to make the feathers go up when I wanted to so that, you know, if I see a cute guy, I could be like, hi but i didn't so and with the feathers it was kind of hard to walk through the club even though i tried to make it smaller because i have learned from the year that i was an angel and the wings were such a nightmare to walk in the club with but also in the club there was this hong kong guy that asked me in cantonese damn is that you gab am i a squab i'm like have you ever seen a blue squab like this blue, and why would I, why would I dress up as a squab? Anyway, go check out that video after watching this one, and you can see how I made the peacock costume. I'm at my last costume for today, and it's my mermaid costume. So for the top, I still have it here. What I did was I used an old bra, um, a white colored bra, and then for the shell. So I went to the wet markets where you actually buy food and seafood and go to the butcher and all those things. Um, I was looking around the scallops and then the man's like, what do you want? I'm like, I just wanted the shell actually. So he gave me a bunch of shells without the meat. And then I came home, chose the prettiest ones, washed them all, and then I painted over them so it's white, and then a bit of gold, and then I stuck some beads on it, like with glue, and sequins on the top as well. I don't know if you can see. So, because the shell is so hard, um, to attach it to the bra, I basically sewed, if you can see these lines here, I actually sewed all the way around the shell and onto the bra. So, um, so that it holds, um, and it, it's very secure, it holds really well. And, um, and then I also had a strap just so, it, just to make sure it does stay on. And so that was the top. Okay, so for the skirt, I used a stretchy material and the color is kind of a mermaid shimmery color. Um, I used my, my existing pencil skirts as a stencil. I cut it out and then I was going to use fabric glue to glue the sides on, but then I realized it's still not strong enough and I would be butt naked by the end of the night. So I sewed on the sides. Um, and then with the ends, I used like a chiffon material. I used three layers and then folded it so you know it has some more layers, kind of like a tutu, and it was just under my knees so that I could still move so the skirt wasn't too long um, and I could still walk around. And um, for accessories, I added some beads, pearls, seashells, and shimmery makeup. And um, so I see some people, they, they use the net from oranges and fruit and then they make a really cool scale um, effect. Um, I didn't do that but I was just um, shimmery cheekbones and glitter and everything. So I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with the Little Mermaid so um, what you could do is, um, what I actually did was comb my hair with a fork before I was eating. Um, pretty gross but I wiped it. I wiped it before I eat. If you happen to see aquarium, go say hi, go talk to the fishes, go talk to the seaweed. And that year we went to a hotel party, so there was a bathtub, so I was hanging out there quite a lot. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I know what kind of content you guys like and what to create for you guys in the future. Or you could just leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see on this channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell. And um, I do have a video of my peacock costume how-to if you haven't seen it already just to give you more ideas on this dress up. And um, happy Halloween or whatever party you're going to. Have a great time and I'll see you in the next video.